Hi, my name's Sharon and I live in Kakodi. At the age of 31, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes two months prior to my marriage to Andy. It came as a huge shock um, as at that time I had no symptoms and felt reasonably well. Um, I was referred by my GP to the hospital um, where I was advised that any questions that I had would be answered. So Ant and I got a piece of paper and wrote down all the questions that we had, which ended up as quite as an extensive list. But uppermost in my mind was, could I still have children and would they be okay? We went to the hospital where Dr Jameson took our list, answered all our questions and put all our fears to one side. He referred us to the diabetic team at Forth Park um, because we wanted to start a family um, right away um, and we were put under the care of Dr Steele and Professor Campbell and their team. They advised us that the, the most important thing was to take um, high doses of folic acid prior to conception and to try and maintain an HB1C of around 5. Um, luckily, we fell pregnant quite quickly and we had our first scan at 9 weeks. We started our monthly visits to the Diabetic Pregnancy Clinic at Forth Park um, where they tested our blood glucose levels, did our blood pressure checks and um, referred us to uh, our, our blood monitoring diary. And all or any questions that I had were answered um, there and then. Latterly, I attended the clinic weekly um, where we also had regular growth scans. Um, I also attended the, the daycare unit where the baby was monitored um, and all of this made us feel really at ease and the diabetic team were contactable at any time that, you know, that we needed them. In my second pregnancy, I unfortunately took a sickness bug at five months um, where Professor Campbell admitted us to Forth Park Observation Ward. Uh, we were looked after very well and the baby was constantly monitored until we were both okay. My first pregnancy was induced a week early and Emily was born at a healthy £10.5. Um, my second pregnancy was induced two weeks early um, because I was concerned that the baby was going to be much bigger um, than the first, which made me a bit nervous, but Lisa was born at a healthy £10.2. The care I received from start to finish was both second to none um, and I'm very glad that um, I live in Fife and have access to all the skills and facilities that are in place there.